What's up, guys? Jay, morning after kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2. And it's no secret that Randy Pitchford is obsessed with magic. If you've tuned into just one of Randy Pitchford's cringe lord stage performances at PAX and other video game conferences over the last past 10 years, then it's very likely that you've seen Randy attempt very poorly, I might add, to impress you with a magic trick. In fact, Randy is so proud of his magic that he spent most of his adult life socializing with other magicians like Penn and Teller. Their friendship going so deep that Penn named his daughter Moxie and Randy also put them in Borderlands 3 as pain and terror. And even during 2022, Randy Pitchford would go on to purchase the Magic Castle in LA, which is home to the Academy of Magic Arts. It's safe to say that even though Randy Pitchford's magic is a meme on the internet, Randy Pitchford is very serious about his magic. But why? Well, while I was doing some digging on the internet, trying to track down old tweets of Randy's to use in my Borderlands retrospective series, I came across one of the most interesting things about Randy Pitchford and his magic. His great uncle, Richard Pitchford, while serving in the British military during World War I, he would create sleight of hand card tricks in the trenches as a means to keep up his manual dexterity while wearing gloves. He'd eventually be wounded in battle and sent home to recover. And while recovering, he would perfect his sleight of hand mastery and develop a whole stage act to go with it. And he'd call himself the Cardini. Basically the Houdini of cards. And interestingly enough, majority of the sleight of hand tricks that you see used by magicians today were actually created by Randy's great uncle Richard, who would travel and he would perform his act around the world before eventually settling the Pitchfords down in America. And knowing this actually explains a lot about why Randy feels it's so necessary for him to perform magic and be seen by his peers as a magician. Because Randy sees it as his birthright to become a highly accomplished magician and to be seen in the circles and accepted as a highly accomplished magician. Even to this day, refusing to stop using his platform as CEO of Gearbox as a stage for his magic. Believing that he's so good at his craft that he would offer up himself on a Zoom call to the winner of the Loot Hunt 2023 to teach them two magic tricks. Honestly, I, I think at that point, I'd just rather have the butt stallion plushie. <laughs> so, my name is Jay. More than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you really thumb up on a video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. This was honestly the last bit of information I think that I would ever dig up on Randy Pitchford, but 
It explains why Randy is so keen on using his platform to try and basically buy his way into the Academy of Magic Arts. Literally. <laughs> and why he refuses to stop doing magic during his time on stage during video game conferences. Instead of focusing on, you know, giving the actual presentation with the actual information that people are there for. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Did you know this? Because I personally sure as hell didn't. But once I found out, it kind of connected a lot of dots on why he's so insistent on continuing to regale us with stunning magical performances. Let me know if it does for you as well in the comment section down below. My name's Jay, more than Afterkill. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later. Second. Scarlet, is that you? Oh, you're not Scarlet, but I can taste her scent on you.